Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the Father and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter in faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the Metropolitan Lady Honor, Archbishop Paul, the Honorable Priest to the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the whole people of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this God protected land, his president, all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord And for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Every our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God.
Christ, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorate in our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious name, Theodotos, ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, the lover of mankind, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Let us attend.
let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Unto us, reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The whole council held a consultation. Having bound Jesus, they carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, You have said it. The chief priest began to accuse him of many things, but he answered nothing. Again Pilate asked him, Do you have no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer so that Pilate was astonished. Now he used to release to the Jews one prisoner on the occasion of the feast, whichever one they asked of him. And there was one called Barabbas, who was then in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the uprising. The multitude crying aloud began to ask Pilate to do as he always did for them. Pilate answered them, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he understood that it was from envy that the chief priests had delivered Jesus. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd so that Pilate would release Barabbas to them instead. Pilate again asked them, What then do you want me to do to the one whom you call the King of the Jews? Crucify him, they shouted. Pilate said to them, But why, what evil has he done? But they shouted even louder, Crucify him. Wishing to please the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them, and after having Jesus flogged, he handed him over to be crucified. Saints commemorated, we remember our righteous father Gerasimus of the Jordan. This saint, who was from Lycia in Asia Minor, lived there for many years as a hermit and then went to Palestine. He built there the great Lavra by the Jordan River, where a lion served him with great obedience and devotion. One day, the lion came looking for Gerasimus that he might feed him. But his disciples took the lion to the place where they had buried the saint shortly before. The lion fell at the saint's grave and, after roaring with grief, died at that very place. St. Gerasimus reposed in 475 to the prayers of our Holy Father Gerasimus. Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Departed this life before us, especially the newly departed, 
Walter, Carol, Elizabeth, Aaron, Thomas, Janet, Michael, Helen, Alexander, Joseph, the reader, Leonard, Ellen, James, Susan, Mary, Helen, Helen, John, Margaret, Mary Ann, Metropolitan, Irene, April, Presbyter, Thomas, Archpriest, Michael, Kenneth, Christine, Michael, all those who we have in mind at this time, who here and throughout the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Barbara and her family, Rosemary and her family, the Archpriest Vladimir of Virginia, Rhonda and James, Daniel, David, Michael, Anne, Kathleen, Robert and Jane, Alexander, Frank, Adele, Nicholas, Christopher, Rachel, Anna, Steve, Jean, Carolyn, Carol, Alexander, Victoria, Philip, Chrysostom, Maria, Vasily, and Elisabetta, Joanne, John, Nicholas, and Alan, Catherine, Samuel, Andrew, David, for Jane and Christos, Sarah and Andrew, Leah and Alex, Mandy and Peter, Mary and Michael, and the children to be born to them, for Judd and Barbara to be crowned in marriage, for Matthew, Seneva, Edwin, August, Catherine, Nolan, Catherine, Emily, Nikolai, Daniel, and George, for victims of violence, disease, and disaster here and throughout the world, and those who help and serve them, and for the pardon and remission of our sins. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present, await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art a merciful God, the lover of mankind, and we glorify thee, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, you can humans. Lord have mercy. Bless the faithful, pray for the catechumens, that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. That with us they also may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. All catechumens depart, depart catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let not one catechumen remain. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Supplication of God, make us worthy to offer unto thee prayers and supplications of God, the sacrifices for all thy people. And enable us when thou hast placed in this thy service by the power of thy Holy Spirit, timorously and without offense in the pure witness of our conscience. Call upon thee at all times and in every place, that hearing us thou mayest be merciful to us in the multitude of thy goodness. Wisdom for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Again, yet again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. to stand blameless and without condemnation before the Lord. Also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them always to worship thee blamelessly with fear and love, and without condemnation to partake of thy holy mysteries, and to be counted worthy of thy salvation. Wisdom that guardeth always by thy might, 
we may glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Remember you in his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is Yeah. 
supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us. And upon these gifts here spread forth, and make this bread to be the most pure body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup to be the most precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Making the change by thy Holy Spirit. for those who partake for the purification of soul, the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for gold and towards thee, but not for judgment or for condemnation. Again we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who fall us deep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary. Who 
sent down upon us in return is divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Let the whole baby be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, the angel of peace and faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. The Christian ending to our life take as blameless and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. We ask for the and supplication of the Holy of the heavenly and dread mysteries of the sacred spiritual table, of your conscience for remission of sins, for forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. Hold us towards thee, but not for judgment of our condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to sing. Smooth what lies in your Brussels. According to the individual, be to be sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air, even with sails and travel by the position of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, and thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us attend 
I believe, O Lord, I confess, Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world, the heirs whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly Thine own most beautiful Lord, that is to be the Therefore I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, forgive your transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, committed in knowledge or ignorance, and may be worthy to partake without condemnation. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemy. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of the soul. comes forth like a bridegroom, leaving his chamber.
time shine on you, Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has shown on thee. Exalt now, be glad, be radiant, O most spirit, they talk us in the resurrection of thy Son, O Christ. Great and most holy God, of the wisdom, word, and power of God. Grant that we may more perfectly partake of thee in the never fading day of thy kingdom. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those who have care by thy precious blood, the prayers of thy most dear mother, and from all thy sins. O God, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. We must be the Of us all 
pure and blameless mother at the supplication of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our father among the saints Nicholas, Archbishop of Myron, Lycia the wonder worker, of our holy fathers and mothers among the saints, whom we commemorate on this day, and especially our venerable father, Gerasimus of the Jordan, together with the martyrs Paul and his sister Juliana, of James the Faster of Phoenicia, and the righteous Prince Daniel of Moscow, of John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of mankind. Thank you. 